The yeas are 214 and the nays are 216. The resolution is not adopted. A major failure for the Speaker of the House who just gaveled that. Let's keep listening and see what else we might hear. For what purpose does the gentleman from Utah seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I have a motion at the desk. The clerk will report the motion. Mr. Moore of Utah moves to reconsider the vote on adoption of House Resolution 863. The question is on the motion to reconsider. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. The ayes have it. Mr. Speaker. The, the gentleman from Utah. I request, Mr. Speaker, I request the, the yeas and nays. The yeas and nays are requested. Those favoring a vote by the yeas and the nays will rise. The sufficient number having risen, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, further proceedings on this question are postponed. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, the unfinished business is the vote on the motion to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 7217. We've been listening to Speaker Mike the Johnson, the relatively order. recently appointed Republican Speaker of the House. A major loss there for Speaker Johnson, who clearly did not get the votes they thought they had or wanted to have. Uh, speakers usually bring, bring things to the floor that they can pass. This was a hard line. Uh, demand by many within the Republican Party to try to make the issue of the border uh, larger by impeaching uh, the Biden secretary, Mayorkas, and this just failed. I can also tell you as we watch the floor, and then I'm going to bring in Emily Bazelon, who's been watching along with us, uh, the numbers you see there, uh, this is now basically the procedural act. They're going to run, run it back, basically. But the failure there uh, of this attempt to impeach the secretary uh, means that the Republicans thought they had more votes than they did. And I can tell you, if you're watching moments ago, right along with us, for a while it was deadlocked at 215. That would have still been a failure, but a more narrow one. And then in those final moments, as I told you, the voting was still technically open. Uh, it then fell by two votes. Uh, Emily Bazelon, staff writer of The New York Times Magazine, is with us. Uh, she knows plenty about the legality of so many of these border issues, which can be quite complex, and we've seen that go all the way up to the Supreme Court recently. What we saw here was fundamentally the politics, Emily. Uh, and as you and I know, people can make all the predictions they want. The Republicans brought this to the floor today um, to win, not to have a very public embarrassment. There were a couple of, of people gone, uh, but most people were there. Um, your reaction to this news out of the Congress tonight, uh, that the Republicans failed to get their impeachment vote done through their narrow majority of Secretary Mayorkas? I mean, look, I think it's important to remember that the accusations that the Republicans brought against Secretary Mayorkas was not corruption. It wasn't negligence. It was they didn't like how he was doing his job. They talk about it as willfully refusing to enforce the laws of the border. But really, this is a policy dispute. And so it is interesting that some of their members, uh, a few of them, balked and refused to go along with this impeachment, which was largely symbolic and, as you said, very much driven by politics. Yeah.